Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today and making the time to learn more about our grant programs. This is Janet Sheng, Director of Grant Making for the Community Foundation for Monterey County. The purpose of this presentation is to provide an overview of our community impact, opportunity, and organizational development grant programs. I will highlight what is new for 2024 and share some suggestions. The Community Foundation has about 10 other grant programs that accept grant requests throughout the year. These grants have restrictions such as specific geographic areas within Monterey County. Information about our other grant opportunities is on our website, cfmco.org slash nonprofits slash grants. Here's a comparison of the three grant programs this presentation focuses on. Community impact grants are open to almost all areas nonprofit organizations address. Community impact grants is very popular and very competitive. We only suggest you apply for a community impact grant if the organization has received a grant in the past and if your request is over 20,000. Opportunity grants support pilot projects and expanded services. In 2024, we are broadening opportunity funding criteria and interests to support ongoing services and activities. If you are considering applying for a community impact grant for $20,000 or less, we highly encourage you to apply for an opportunity grant instead this year. You may apply anytime throughout the year. It has fewer application and reporting questions, and the review process is streamlined and quicker. Finally, organizational development grants support organizations' efforts to increase their internal effectiveness and efficiency. Grants typically support an organization's overall efforts, not a specific project or program. Organizations are eligible to receive either a community impact or an opportunity grant. Organizations may receive an op organizational development grant and either a community impact or op opportunity grant. This table shows requirements by grant program. We make continuous efforts to improve the application process. Our intention is that the time required to submit a grant proposal and report are proportionate to the grant size. All three grant programs ask for a copy of the organization's annual budget and a budget showing how grant funds would be used. If you receive a grant from any of these programs, you will be expected to submit a report describing your accomplishments and the progress made towards the goals and outcomes as proposed in the application. We do not ask you to submit financial statements when requesting an opportunity grant. However, financial statements are required for organizational development and community impact proposals. Only impact grant applications ask about board giving. We acknowledge that board members support the organization in multiple ways, and we no longer ask about the amount the board donated. And the questions on board giving have been completely removed from organizational development and opportunity applications. We expect to award approximately 1.6 million in community impact grants this year. Community impact grants are paid by our more than 40 endowed fields of interest funds. We are strict we have restricted funding within each of our five program areas. Many of these funds are restricted either by population, for example, older people, unsheltered people, youth, and arts programs, or by geography, for example, areas in Monterey Peninsula and Salinas Valley. Community impact grants are paid from endowed funds, which grow very slowly over time. Here are some things to keep in mind. We consider unrestricted opportunities operating support grants. However, the most common question the grant committee has is, how will grant funds be used? While an itemized bud budget is not required for operating requests, please give us an idea or an estimate how funds would be used, for example, through salaries, rent, utilities, or a new pilot project. Unrestricted support is unlikely for first time grant seekers. In summary, we are seeking to grant requests that address our funding priorities, propose services in an equitable, accessible way, and are realistic and have the needed infrastructure. 
Here's some things we look for in a strong community impact grant proposal. And these are listed in the grant guidelines and application. Clearly address our funding priorities. Plan accordingly. The majority of community impact grants will be made for efforts and expenses beginning in July. If you're looking for funding to support expenses earlier in the year, then consider applying for an opportunity grant or focus your proposal on spring 2025. Evaluation plan with measurable results. We see you as the expert in your field. We ask that you share goals that are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. A common weakness is to submit an application that simply says, we will collect information about the number of people who participate or the, pe the percent of people who increase their knowledge will grow. Please submit SMART goals that are meaningful to your organization. More examples are in the evaluation clinic presentation slides at cfmco.org slash community impact. We aim to award community impact grants with an average size of 30,000. Opportunity and community impact grant requests under 20,000 are reviewed in approximately two months. Decisions on larger community impact grants over 20,000 take a month longer to allow time for the grant committee to review and discuss. Two-year grants will be considered for organizations that have had multiple and successful grants in recent years. Two-year grants are by invitation only. Community impact applications are due by 5 p.m the third Friday in March, March 15th or earlier. If you have received a community impact grant in the past for 20,000 or less, or if you have not received a community impact grant before, we encourage you to consider applying for an opportunity grant this year. You can submit your proposal anytime and the application and report forms have fewer questions than community impact. What do we look for in a strong opportunity grant proposal? Opportunity grants support new and, and expanded efforts and new for 2024, ongoing activities and expenses. Since grant funds cannot cover expenses previously incurred, we have received a few requests that were unable to be supported because we received the grant request too late. Regarding when to submit your grant request, please consider our timeline and the timing of your planned activities. Opportunity funding decisions are usually made within two months. While there is no application due date, we will review opportunity requests in three cycles. For example, if you're looking for funding for a summer program, you'll need to apply by the end of February. Organizations are eligible to receive one opportunity grant per calendar year. We ask that you only submit one grant request per cycle. If your proposal is not selected for funding in the first two cycles of the year, we will consider your subsequent grant proposal after receiving feedback from staff and submitting a revised grant application. Nonprofits and community-based organizations in Monterey County are creative and resourceful. Many are looking to grow their capacity or effectiveness to achieve their mission impact. A boost from an organizational development or OD grant is an investment you make in the near term that can pay off for years by helping your nonprofit be more equitable and effective. In recent years, many OD grants have gone to nonprofits with fewer than 10 employees. What do we look for in a strong OD proposal? It should demonstrate a clear plan and show how funded activities will contribute to significantly improving the organization for the future. Our Center for Nonprofit Excellence offers many nonprofit resources. On our website at cfmco.org slash CNE, you can access resources and professional development opportunities for nonprofit staff and board that we offer and that are available online. 
other funders' requests for proposals and fund development resources and cult consulting risk support. Also, we work with the Stanford alumni consulting team known as SAT. This local talented experience group offers free consulting on a limited basis. Submit your application for pro bono consulting projects by 5 p.m. January 31st. If you're new to using our online grants manager, we suggest the following. Read the overview guide and access our online grants manager at cfmco.org slash apply. Add administrator at grantinterface.com to your email contacts. Automatic messages confirming we received your application and reminding you of report deadlines come from this email address. Let us know if any updates need to be made to your contact information. You can access our online grants manager from various grant pages. Look for this grants manager icon. Please read the grant guidelines and materials on our website. Answers to most questions are there. If you still can't find what you're looking for, feel free to contact us. And here is our staff contact information. Thank you for your time, and we look forward to talking to you soon.